As temperatures continue to rise, cooling has become essential for comfort and productivity in our daily lives. Every building, whether residential or commercial, requires a robust cooling infrastructure. Most of these solutions are decentralized, requiring their own space, power consumption and maintenance. However, district cooling is a centralized system that produces chilled water at a central location and provides cooling through the supply of chilled water to multiple buildings within a given geographic area through a network of insulated pipes for cooling purposes. Traditional AC systems constitute over 50% of a building's peak electricity demand. With district cooling, peak demand on the grid as well as the operating energy consumption reduces. It also avoids the capital costs of installing chillers, cooling towers and associated mechanical and electrical equipment at the building level and frees up valuable rooftops and basement space that can be repurposed. By aggregating the cooling needs of multiple buildings, district cooling optimizes the installed cooling capacity, resulting in economic benefits for customers and power utilities and environmental benefits for society. In addition, it also leads to a reduction in the heat island effect by eliminating the hot pockets that are otherwise created within the livable spaces by independent AC systems. Many of the G20 nations are in climate zones that require cooling for a major part of the year. District energy systems are already in place in some G20 countries. Middle Eastern countries like Saudi Arabia and Qatar have widely adopted the technology with the countries having some of the world's largest district cooling systems. India's gift city in Gandhinagar, Gujarat is an example of how district cooling can be implemented and operated in large-scale projects in India. Under the Indo-German Bilateral Energy Partnership, the Ministry of Power in India and the German Federal Ministry of Economic Affairs and Climate Action are leading by example and committed to upscaling energy-efficient cooling solutions and implementing India's Cooling Action Plan. India's Bureau of Energy Efficiency and GIZ have collaborated to specifically look at pathways for scaling up district cooling systems in India with technical support from the Alliance for an Energy Efficient Economy. It is important for the G20 countries to learn and accelerate knowledge exchange by collaborating with countries that have implemented district cooling systems to reap the benefits of large district cooling systems. This would enable the upscaling of sustainable cooling solutions for a billion lives. The advantages are evident and successful examples from around the world are a testament to the fact that district cooling can become an ideal, efficient and environmentally friendly cooling solution for the world.